Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Well, as you all know, I'm a buck knife lover. And so I decided to try to come up and see if I could come up with my 10 favorite buck knives. These are all USA made. Now, this is extremely, extremely difficult. So some of these knives are kind of representing a whole category of knives. So bear with me as I go through these and I'll give you a quick explanation on uh, why it made my top 10. And we're going to start off with probably one of the knives that really got me going and got me thinking about buck knives. And that's this 112 here. And this was my father-in-law's. And uh, it was left to me after he passed. And I'm very proud to be able to, to own this. And this is from, uh, well, it's a two dot. So it's an old one, and you can tell it's an old one because it doesn't have the nail nick. So there, there's his, the knife, and here's the sheath. And the knife is in very good shape. I sent it off to Buck and got the spa treatment for it. And uh, you can see that brass is patinaed again. Alrighty, next in line, since we're on those lockbacks like that, this is the Buck 110. This is not the fanciest Buck 110, but it's the first 110 I ever bought. And this is from the 90s. And you can see it's got the nylon sheath with the old Buck logo on it. So yeah, my favorite Buck 110 because it was my first. Okay. Keeping in line with a lock back, and I, tr I tried to pick knives from different categories. I mean, I could have just grabbed 10 fixed blades and explained why all 10 of them were the best. But <laughs> So this is very hard. Um, here's another little lock back. This is called the Treasury. And it's got that nice rosewood there. And just listen. You hear that? This thing is the smoothest knife. Yep, they don't make the treasury anymore. I think they came out in three or four different colors. And I just love the little treasury. Here's the box cover for it. Model 527RD. Made in USA. And it came with this slip. So, yep. And we can move right along. I'll try to move right along here so we don't go too long, okay? Um, I also like the Buck slip joints and the history behind all of their old slip joints. And this is one I picked up a few months ago. And this is the 301. And it's one of the very original 301s that was ever put out by Buck. I say put out by Buck because this one was actually made by Schrade. And you can see it has two springs instead of three springs. And what's very unique about this 301 is it has the threaded bolsters there. There's a look at the blade. Which got that long French pull. On the clip point there. Then of course your sheep's foot. And your spay. Now the knife is slightly used. But this really is holding a piece of history right in my hands. So the Buck 301 made by Schrade. And while we're on slip joints, we might as well pull this one out here. Next up is the Wrangler, the Buck 307, and it's the Jumbo. Yeah, this is the Jumbo Stockman. And as you can see, it's got two springs. And there's your sheep's foot on that one. Now this one is uh, basically new old stock. I have the box and everything for this one. This is unused. And the spay. A 
and there's that massive clip point that nice swedge now you notice that has a long nail pull also but this one was made by Camillus so buck contracted with trade first and trade made knives for two I don't know two three four years I don't remember what it was and uh, buck didn't uh, like the way that they put their covers together for warranty service so they switched contracts over to Camillus and so Camillus made a lot of their slip joint knives until Buck learned how to do it themselves and got the equipment and you see the difference in size yep between the 307 and the 301 so another favorite knife of mine Now we'll start getting into the fixed blades, and one of my top 10 favorite knives is this Buck 102 here with the Coco Bolo handle. You got the brass pommel and the brass guard, and again, this is one of the older models from the 1990s. You can see the old Buck logo imprinted there. It's basically this logo here printed onto the leather and it is brownish red leather sheath it's got 102 stamped in there so this is the very first buck 102 knife that I ever bought and the 102 is just flat out one of my favorite patterns I really love the 102 alrighty what else do we got Another fixed blade here. This is the Mini Mentor. Yep. Uh, Burlwood uh, handles there. And this is the Running Deer. That cut out there is plated in 24 karat gold. This is out of the Buck Custom Shop. And I happened to find this at an antique store. And if I remember correctly, this was a limited edition from 2001. And I was able to run across it in a store and there's your sheath so this is the mini mentor just a gorgeous knife feels good in the hand really nice jumping there all right you can I think you can see why this made it on the list right another limited edition or a limited run is this uh <clears throat> Excuse me, this Buck Fixed Blade 212. Again, the Coco Bolo handle. Got the aluminum pommel and guard. Just what a terrific knife. There was about, uh, well, less than 350 of these made. And I was fortunate to get one of these. And it came with the old style sheath. Got the buck on there. And this is just paying homage. There you go, proudly made in the USA. Just paying homage to the old days there with this old style sheath. Well, I had one fixed blade sitting off to the side that I forgot about. We got to get this one in here, otherwise, we'd only have nine. So here you go. This is the Buck 113 Ranger. Uh, first introduced as an Elk Skinner around uh, 2012. This is out of the custom shop because I liked the blue wood. And I went ahead and got the brown distressed leather sheath for it. Made in the USA sheath. Just love the, the feel and the color of that sheath. And I've just always admired, you know, the 113. I don't know why it took me so long to get one, but uh, I broke down last year and went ahead and ordered one. So just a wonderful knife. And I've shown this one before, and there's a lot of people leaving comments saying this is one of their favorite skinning knives. So there it is. The Buck 113. Okay, now for the crowning glory. Now, I didn't really do these in any particular order, 
but I got to say number one here is probably number one as far as what do you want to say the aesthetics the the quality of the knife the rareness maybe of the knife and that is this beautiful 500 Duke that popcorn stag on there and this is a limited buck grizzly one of 250 and this is number one is that 115 yeah number 115 of 250 so this is kind of the the crown of my collection here very glad to have this knife here and it came in this very fancy sheath here looky there 500 custom all right so that just kind of wraps it up here for my top 10 favorite buck knives again trying to pick one out of several different categories uh, the the truth is I could probably grab all my buck knives and say you know it's in my top 10 so tomorrow this all may change but I hope you've enjoyed a peek at some of my uh, more premium buck knives here and until next time have a very delightful day and I'll leave a link to the playlist of my buck knives down here in the lower right hand corner take care everyone